So in this last segment, uh, we will look at uh, how to use the basic principle of counting to uh, count to the number of subsets. Okay, so I hope you have already think about it before looking at this. It's it's not that hard. Okay, uh, but uh, I think try to formalize this uh, experiment uh, con concisely really help. It's really helpful when you think about a more complex uh, experiment or complex uh, random process. So we're gonna define two experiments that, in the end, generate a random arrangement from a set of in uh, uh, of size of size k from a set set of size n. Okay. So we're gonna do the following. So the first step. Okay. In the first ex experiment, we pick subset of size k. Okay, from that. So we start with a subset of size k. And then in the next step, we permute So we permute this, uh, we take the permutation of the subset of size k. So we permute. So we randomly permuting. So you get arrangement, right? You get one, uh, you get arrangement of size k, right? So start with an, a set of size n, okay? And then, so these two experiment Okay, so we, we don't know the number of this, right? So this is the number of subset, right? Number of subset. So we don't know the number of subset. But we know that for each subset in this second step, okay, you have a k factorial possible arrangement of a subset of size k. Okay, so in this case, uh, we know that. Um, so let's do some counting. So we we already did that. So number of arrangements of size k. K is uh, k factorial, right? In in factorial over n minus k factorial right okay and the number of subset we don't know right let's say this is x okay and we know that number of permutation so this is the number of way in the first experiment and this is the number of choices in the second experiment so number of permutation For each set, for each, each set, is k factorial, right? And from the basic principle of counting, we know that uh, the first term, this one, equals this multiplied by that. So you know that n factorial over n minus k factorial equals x times k factorial. So this implies the formula that we want. Okay, x equals n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. And again, let me remind you that this is uh, this can be written as n choose k. Okay, so uh, that's it. Um, okay, thank you.